Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover unit rates with decimals. Now remember, rates compare and show the relationship between quantities with different units. A unit rate is very similar to that, but it's more specific. A unit rate is a rate with a denominator of 1. A unit rate shows per 1 unit. Let's jump into number 1 where we have 37.8 miles in 3.5 hours. This rate compares and shows the relationship between the number of miles traveled and then the number of hours it took to do so. Two different units, miles and then hours. We can write this rate as a fraction and that's the first thing that we are going to do in order to get our unit rate. Now order matters. We have miles and then hours. We want miles per hour. So our fraction needs to represent that order. So let's start with miles, 37 and 8 tenths or 37.8 miles in 3 and 5 tenths or 3.5 hours. Make sure to label and include units within rates and unit rates since we are working with different units. Now let's find the unit rate. Unit rates always have a denominator of 1. We want per 1 unit. In this case, we want how many miles per 1 hour. Let's do this by dividing our denominator by 3.5. So this is going to equal divide by 3.5 here. That will give us a denominator of 1, representing 1 hour. Now just like equivalent fractions, whatever we do to the bottom, or denominator, we must do to the top, the numerator, or vice versa, in order to keep everything equivalent and proportional. So let's divide the top number by 3.5 as well and that's going to give us our unit rate. So again, 3.5 divided by 3.5, that gives us our denominator of 1, and that's going to be 1 hour. And then 37.8 divided by 3.5, that gives us 10.8 miles. And that's our unit rate, 10.8 miles per one hour, or 10.8 miles per hour. And we can also write this as 10.8 miles per hour. So this is our unit rate in fractional form, and then we can also write it like this. Let's move on to number two, where we have $127.75 spent in seven days. We need to figure out the number of dollars spent per day. Let's write this rate in fractional form. And again, order matters. We need dollars per day, so dollars and then days. So we start with $127.75. And this is in seven days. So now we need that unit rate. We need that denominator of 1. We get a denominator of 1 by dividing by 7. 7 divided by 7 gives us 1. So this is going to equal divide by 7. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do to the top in order to keep this equivalent and proportional. So let's divide both of these by 7. 7 divided by 7 gives us 1 and that's one day. And then $127.75 divided by seven, that gives us $18.25. Our unit rate is $18.25 per one day, or $18.25 per day. So that shows us how much money was spent per day. We can also write this as $18 and 25 cents per day. So this is our unit rate in fractional form, 
And then we can also write it like this. So there you have it. There's how you find unit rates that involve decimals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.